Um, so this is our flag, beautiful flag. As you can see, we are south of the Arabian Peninsula. People, when they think of Middle East, they think of deserts, endless deserts, but that's not really the case, especially in Yemen. Food, my favorite uh -huh. part. <laughs> so this is just my city's food. Once you leave, maybe half an hour away from my city, there's a village with their own menu. And um, of course, I can't cover all that. And this is uh, just like basically bread and honey and stuff like that. Um, very, de very delicious. I wish there was a restaurant here that I could take you all to. But unfortunately for you, unfortunately for me, that doesn't exist. <laughs> And as I wear today, this is a hanbok, is a Korean dress, very traditional stuff. So this is called India Wale. That means like Indians or people of India. Yes, I know my brother from Africa. <laughs> and uh, we are just going to show uh, a diverse way of Indian culture. So today our theme is uh, unity in diversity or diversity in strength. And uh, our theme is based on the Indian color, which is like orange, white, and green. Orange represents the strength and the courage in the diversity and the resources, of course. And white represents the peace, which is a universal. And uh, as the previous team said that uh, there are very much a mix of cultures and ethnicity of South Asia itself. And uh, Indian history goes back to 10,000 BC. And at some point of time, India was a resembling part of modern America. So people from all over the world, like they used to travel to India and find the resources and settle there and have their uh, inhabitants over there. So that's how the India, you can see diverse, uh, not only ethnicity and the languages, but also the skin tones and also the way body looks. This is like um, the Christ, like Jesus Christ, and it has a very, a very good views about the city, where you can see all the city in, like, down, down the hill, and also we have some gondola, and you can see, you can go to a hotel that is called Montetasco to, to hometown, to the downtown. Uh, in Mexico City, uh, there, there is a, this place, it's called Yotihuacan, and it has uh, the Sun Pyramid and the Moon Pyramid. The, these are the biggest pyramids in all of Mexico, and you can just go all to the top and do some exercise <laughs> and get, um, do some meditation. A lot of people like to, to meditate over there, so it's very, very nice. Because I know Mexico, it's known about the beaches. <laughs> everyone, everyone wants to have party and enjoy some cocktails, some tequilas, or something like that. Yeah. Canada is celebrating, let's celebrate uh, 150 years <laughs> history. But do you know how old is China? China is over 5,000 years. Every five years, and uh, our government, the Chinese government, will celebrate the uh, establishment of the uh, country. When we talk about China, usually we always talk about the wisdom. Chinese uh, have many uh, uh, philosophy, philosophers. For example, some Confucius, uh, Laozism, Yin Yang, and this is Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu is a philosopher.
So, Jamaica is an island and nation of the Greater Antilles, and Greater Antilles means here, but it's one of the larger islands in the Caribbean. And it's located in northwestern region in the Caribbean, about 145 kilometers or 90 miles south of Cuba. So yes, we're neighbors with Cuba. Also, it's 878 kilometers um, from Miami, Florida. And of all the neighbors are Mexico, <laughs> Cayman Island, and Colombia. Come on out. 